elders of our developing nation relied on horse power to get That's things done. Out of necessity, the most horses. useful horses required certain characteristics. The Morgan horse perfectly filled that niche. As a breed, they had the ideal combination of willingness, serviceability, soundness, tradeability, longevity, hardiness, and thriftiness as Morgans are renowned for their easy keeping. Don't overfeed a Morgan, they will get big and fat in a hurry. The breeding stock of the Morgan has been selected for its, most of its existence for the very traits that are tested in modern carriage competitions. Speed over distance, stamina over time, always the strength, soundness, and mental capacity to be brave, quick, agile, and drivable. It is no wonder that the Morgan horses are in the ribbons at most competitive driving events in the United States of America. The Morgan horse was then and is now America's reigning carriage driving horse. Today, 30% of carriage horses being driven for competition and recreation in the United States are Morgan horses more than any other breed or horse or pony. Why? Because highly endowed with their genetic heritage, they continue to be great at their job. The artistry, suppleness, and energy needed for carriage and combined driving events find the Morgan eager and are ready for any challenge presented to them. Morgans quickly learn to look forward to every day's challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, Karen Homer Brown and at the whip, Jean Brown from Texas and their horses General Lee and General Longstreet. Civil War's cavalry mounts, including Stonewall Jackson's Little Sorrel and Sheridan's Renzi, who is enshrined in the Smithsonian Institute. In the post-Civil War era, Morgans were used in the Pony Express and his cavalry mounts in the western United States. The only survivor of the Custer Regiment from the Battle of the Lake of Big 